Welcome to the opening event of the very first virtual IT and CMA and CTW Asia Pacific 2020. On behalf of the organizers of this event, I'm very glad to have you join us for an engaging half hour of trivia and fun as we play Game On. Know your IT and CMA and CTW Asia Pacific 2020. If you know your facts about this year's event, you just might stand to win some prizes. Um, my name is David from Asia Ability. We are the experienced partners of the event, and I'll be your host for the next half an hour. But before we get into the game, we have some opening messages from the event organizers. Uh, but in the meantime, just make sure you have a smartphone or a tablet ready with some access to a browser so you can play the game. But now, to officially welcome you to this year's virtual IT and CMA and CTW Asia Pacific, let's first hear from the event organizer, Darren Ng, Managing Director of TTG Asia Media. Greetings to all delegates joining us from around Asia Pacific region and beyond. It is my pleasure to welcome you to a rather different IT and CMA and CDW Asia Pacific 2020 virtually. My team at TDG was very encouraged by the wonderful support and feedback we had from staging our first virtual minds and corporate travel trade event with sister show IT and CM China and CDW China in August this year. With that, we knew we had to keep our Asia Pacific edition going as well. Business conversation must continue as the industry forward plans for the future. So must thought leadership conversations go on for us as a community of professionals to remain cohesive and relevant. This year's show aims to achieve all that in a brand new format like never before, differentiating IT and CMA and CTW Asia Pacific 2020 virtual from any other event experience. The five day week long business driven festival with its 24 seven virtual exhibition will feature new highlights such as buyer procurement showcase and mini roadshow, which offer new sources of procurement potential and new ways of connecting and engaging with featured suppliers respectively. Attractive buyer only incentives, which including cash vouchers and travel prices also await those who actively participate. More importantly, we are grateful for the continued support from our industry friends and colleagues who have been pivotal in bringing this unique event to life. This includes strategic destination partner, Thailand Convention and Exhibition Bureau, who despite not being able to host this event in Bangkok this year, continues to showcase its hospitality and leadership to their virtual participation here. Technology sponsor, Event Air, for their amazing on-air platform that we're currently on. Content partners, Ayapco, Ika, PCMA, insight for the expert insight that you will experience at our knowledge sessions. Thanks also goes to IMAX Group for collaborating with us on the annual Future Leaders Forum. Experience partner, Asia Ability for adding daily dosage, for adding a daily dosage of fun to our networking adventure this week. Our appreciation also goes out to the rest of our partners endorsing and supporting associations, as well as 30 media affiliates from around the world for having played their part in making a difference to this show. With that, I wish you an enjoyable and productive time with us this week. Best wishes for the year ahead, and I look forward to seeing you and the rest of the industry back in Bangkok from 28th to 30th September 2021. Next, we're delighted to have the event's strategic destination partner, Chirut Isarankun Na Ayutthaya, 
president of Thailand Convention and Exhibition Bureau. So, Mr. Director, Managing Director of TTG Asia, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as a strategic destination partner, Thailand Convention and Exhibition Bureau, or TSEP, would like to welcome you all to the first virtual edition of ITCMA and CTW Asia Pacific 2020. I would like to thank TTG Asia for your adaptation to stage this show and make it possible. Also, my appreciation to our attendants for your strong will to keep the momentum of our mice industry. I believe our unified spirit will overcome any challenges and lead us to walk on a stronger path for future success. Today, Thailand is ready for the return of international mice with our new campaign, Thailand Redefine Experience the Extraordinary. We have developed new products and services for mice in the new normal way. With our extra care, we believe they will make your business travel in Thailand a memorable event when situation allow us to connect face to face. Kindly maximize your time with ITCMA and CTW. Let's prove together that Asia Pacific is a leader in activating the global mice industry. Thank you very much, Swadika. All right. So now that the introductions are in order, let's get down to the highlight of this opening event. Game on. Know your IT and CMA and CDW Asia Pacific 2020. Now, throughout this game, we'll be sharing some great destination videos to keep you in the mood. So let's kick off with the first for the Philippines. All right, so for those of you who have just joined us, a warm welcome. You are just in time to play the game and win yourself some prizes. So do make sure you have a smartphone or a tablet ready with access to a browser. We're gonna have a total of 15 questions and the top three delegates with the highest scores will each win a US $30 Amazon e-gift card. So here's what you'll need to do to play the game. We're using what we call Kahoot. And to play your game on Kahoot, you will need the two devices. So one of those devices is for your on-air platform and one is for the Kahoot. One, you'll see the questions appearing on air and then you input your answers on the hand, handheld device on Kahoot on your browser. The questions themselves come in a pretty standard format. You'll see the question and then look for the correct answer on screen. The answers are all color coded. On your device, make sure you match the color to pick the correct answer on screen. 
and the faster you go, the better. Fastest fingers win more points. Now, to join the game itself, we will be sending you a game pin. The web address you'll see right here is kahoot.it. So you would go to that web address, key that into your phone or your tablet, and then enter in the game pin that we give you on screen in a minute. Once you enter the game pin, you would then be asked for your nickname. Now, don't make up some nickname. Please enter your first name and your company name. Now, there is a limit to how many characters you can input. So you might have to use initials to input your company. But you'll know when you've submitted your name and you're in the game because your name will appear on the on-air screen. Okay? So that's it. That's really all you need to know. I think it's time we shared with you the pin and got you started to play your game. So you'll see the pin on screen. Now you can key that pin into your Kahoot dot it web page we'll wait a few minutes for everyone to get into the game say hi to everyone it was very good um it was also a networking session uh we got to know new buyers who were at the show this year that's so great yes i see some of you remembering to put in your company name that's fantastic it's all going to help to make sure we find the winners later Fantastic. If you can, do put in your company name as well. This is the first time the ITC has Fantastic. 30 players in the game so far. So Let's go. This morning we had a group visiting our booth, so uh, it's a great opportunity to meet so many associations at one time. 40 players in. <laughs> 45. This uh, ITCMA helps us know the trends. The cruise conference is something that is new to me, and I think it's going to be a big thing once it is in full-blown activity. This year, we got for the buyers 5% more uh, than last year. It's about 70% of the players buyers. already. Good, good stuff. Exhibitors to meet Keep them coming. Great buyers. In today's busy work environment, um, it's ever more important to uh, efficiently source and compare services. I think NCMA is a good event. The new initiative on the brand showcase presentation was really good because it gives the participants the opportunity. To All right, we'll wait just a little longer because we are at 60 players already. That's great. Make sure you do sign in if you've got your uh, company name as well with the uh, help. We will start in just a few seconds. I think we're going to start in just a few seconds though if you Thanks haven't put in your name already make sure good. you do um, it was also a networking session uh, we got to know new buyers who were at the show this year so definitely a good opportunity for business all righty more coming in all the time First time the ITCMA is organizing. Waiting for the uh, signal, and we'll get so your morning, we get your quiz started uh, any uh, second uh, now. So many associations at one time. All right, I hope you guys are ready, and I hope you know your stuff about the. Uh, about the trade show. So get ready. We're about to start. 
And here we go. Know your ITCMA CTW Asia Pacific 2020. Question number one. Which anniversary are we celebrating this year? Okay, a bunch of answers coming in. Got 15 seconds left. We're giving you plenty of time. It's two anniversaries, of course. ITCMA and CDW Asia Pacific. Okay, and after that, oh, a bit of a spread, a bit of a spread. And actually, only 12 of you got the right answer. It is the 28th and 23rd. So where does that put our leaderboard? Closely by... Okay, we got some great names in there. All right, going straight into question number two. Name the exhibiting airline at this year's event. Get those answers in fast. Come on, who is it? Can you recognize those uniforms? in good to see uh, at least 33 of you managed to recognize the uniforms which means after that we have a new leader in Ronald okay and Jenny is the highest climber up three places all right let's go for question number three okay this one about Penang enhanced Privileged Incentive Scheme. Valid for events taking place when? Ten seconds. Come on. Okay, a bit of a spread again, but 27 of you knew your stuff and managed to guess or get that it was 2021 to 2023. How has that affected our leaderboard? Ronald is still holding pole position, but now Mikhail is coming up close behind and MG has the highest answer streak of Three in a row. Let's go for question number four. Who is the event's experience partner? Gotta be able to get this one, surely. No hints. Five seconds left. Oh. Wow, and even with all the hints and clues, still only 12 got it right. It is, of course, Asia ability. The T-shirt still wasn't enough of a giveaway, I guess. All right, after that, did that shake things up? No, Ronald's still sitting in the lead. Mikhail still just behind, but Samir from God crept up and... Willie is the highest climber up 24 places. Go, Willie. All right, let's go for question number five. Which award did Seoul Tourism Organization receive this year from ICCA? A lot more answers coming in this time. A lot of people know it, or they think they know it. Oh, 
Okay, I think because a lot of people thought they knew it, but only eight actually did, it was the best marketing award. Eight people got that right. That might have shaken things up quite a bit. Ooh, okay, wins do sit into second place. Catching up on Ronald, perhaps. Well, with that, I get a feeling we should have another video. Can we? All right, and we're back to playing Who Can Catch Ronald? <laughs> That's the name of the game for now. Let's go with question number six. Over how many days does this event take place? You've got to know this, surely. Oh, they're coming flying in now. We have a full score. Yeah, 58. 58. Got it right. I'm so glad you know. Yes, it is five days event. And after that, Samir from God's moved up. Otherwise, everything stayed the same. Richard AA is the highest climber. I wonder who that could be. Okay, let's go. Question number seven. Which of the following is not a new program segment? Wow, you couldn't ask for much more of an even spread. 15, of course, got it right. It is brand showcase presentations. They are not a new segment. All the others are. And after that, Crystal now popped up and Magdalena up 21 places. But Ronald is holding on to his lead. Okay, let's go. Question eight. Name this destination. All right, is that enough to give it away? We got 49 answers in already. Okay, obviously enough for 37 people to get that it is, of course, Taipei. So where does that leave us? Ah, finally someone has challenged Ronald Crystal, is now sitting in the lead with 4447, and eight players have an answer streak of three in a row. Let's see if you can keep that going into question nine. Who is the event's strategic destination partner? We did talk about this earlier. You should know. Okay, I 
thought we might get full marks for that, but 38 of you got it right. It is Thailand Convention and Exhibition Bureau, TSEP. So with that, we now have, aha, we have a new leader, Wins Dusit with 5216, 5216. Let's try one more. And what is the population of Yokohama? This, you just got to think about it. Use a little bit of reasoning. Okay, hey, good to see. 37, guessed right, at 3,700,000. Ooh, and with that, Crystal is back in the lead with 5,967, and Mikael is back with an answer streak of three. I think we're ready for another video. Let's go. We are not just opening doors. We are opening our hearts, waiting for a safe and healthy world. We keep our hearts open. Today, as any other day, you are in our thoughts. Our hearts are always open. Okay, we're back, and we're back in business for the last five questions. Now we're playing Can We Catch Crystal? So question number 11 is, what is the name of TCEP's incentive support scheme? Do you know this? Right. Ooh, I thought there was a lot of guessing going on there, judging by how slow the answers were coming in. A widespread, but 11 of you got it right. It is ease up. And that means a Sammy just popped up there. Eight players just lost their answer streak of three. But Crystal is still sitting pretty on top with 5,967. Let's go. Next question, 12. Which destination has the largest pavilion at this year's event? Again, you can tell there's a lot of guessing going on there. Lots of guessing. And in fact, only five of you managed to work out it was in fact, or it is in fact, the Philippines. So that might have shaken things up. Wind Dusit is back up again. Siddharth is the highest climber up 12 places. But Crystal's holding on to that lead. Five, nine, six, seven. Okay, question 13. Name this destination. In future, we are longing to hear the sounds of the waves and to see the beauty that awaits around every corner of this land. Our beautiful motherland, the time will come when the sky will again shine bright and will come back strong. All righty, that's more than enough to see. Is that enough for you to guess? Get those answers in before the time runs out. 26 of you got it right. It is, of course, 
Indonesia. And woo-hoo. okay, Mary Grace is the highest climber, but Mikhail just popped into the lead with 6,635 points. Good job, Mikhail. Good timing with only two more to go. So let's go for question 14. Which one of these famous soccer players plays in Kobe? Football fans have a definite advantage. Oh, they're coming in. 10 seconds to go. Make a guess. If you don't know, just make a guess. All right. Wow, what a spread. We even had a picture of Iniesta up on the screen, but only 13 got it right. So that means... Aha! A last-minute challenger, Asami, in 7,105 points, takes the lead with one question to go. And Samir from God is the highest climber, up 13 places. This is it. It's tight. It's tight at the top. Play with all you've got, fastest fingers, for the last question. And the last question should be an easy one for you to get. So pay attention, and here we go. Question number 15. When is ITCMA CDW Asia Pacific 2021? What are the dates next year? Five seconds left. Okay, lots of answers coming in, lots of spread across the board, but 26 of you managed to get the right answer. It is 28 to 30 September. Would that be enough to push someone new into the top spot? Well, let's find out. Time we saw the final podium. So be prepared. Let's watch. Who's coming? Wins Dusit in third place. Asami in second. So who's the winner? Mikhail. Woo! Fantastic job. Okay, Asami, Mikhail, and Wins to Sid. Fantastic job. A big hand, I think, if we can give a big hand to our winners for today. And I have, you know, some words for you. The three winners, Asami, Mikhail, Wins to Sid, please make sure that you oh, leave your name and your full name and your company in the discussion forum box, which is on the right hand panel so that the organizers can reach out to you to make sure you get your prize, okay? Um, and folks, that's it. We've come to the end of the first day of IT and CMA and CTW Asia Pacific 2020 virtual. Thanks again for staying with us right to the very end. We really hope you enjoyed as much as we've, we've enjoyed and had fun hosting it. Um, a quick reminder, for tomorrow, tomorrow's program will start at 9 a.m. That's 9 a.m. GMT plus 8. And we will see you tomorrow. So bye, folks. See you tomorrow.